Hi, I'm Scott. Aiden. Leo. Lindsay. Animesh. Alec. Brooke. Sky. Preston. Michael. Rodney. Sherry. Colin. Luke. Nico. Matia. Mia. Mylan. Clara. It's your boy John Barron. Thanks for tuning in, and you're watching. Great job. What's up, Novi? This past Tuesday, February 14th, the Novi ski teams went to regionals. For the girls, there were 12 teams in total, with our girls ranking 6th in the slalom race and 9th in the giant slalom race. For the boys, there were 14 teams in total, with our boys placing 12th in both the slalom and giant slalom races. Overall, the girls placed 7th out of the 12 teams, and the boys placed 12th out of the 14 teams. Great job, everyone, and have a good night, Wildcats. What's going on, Novi? It's Kaden here to give you your cheer update. Today, there will be a district competition at Milford High School. Be sure to show up and give them support at 6 p.m. We'll see you later, Novi. Our JV and varsity POM teams went to state last Sunday at Eastern Michigan University. JV placed sixth in Junior Varsity Division II, and varsity placed second in Varsity Class A Division II. Great job, girls. What's up, Wildcats? Tonight, your girls take on Heartland at 7 at home. Make sure to come out for their last home game. Yeah, well, what happened last night? I mean, like, I thought it was a really good game overall. We came out, I would say we came out really strong in the game because, like, we wanted it, especially after, like, the last three times they beat us and they've had us, especially our numbers. So I like, really thought this was a game where we needed to come out strong, and I thought we did. I loved it when they were chanting my name. You know, the fans were great, I thought. I thought it was really good, and I was just really happy to get the win, you know? We got up next week in playoffs, too, so hopefully we could take them then, too. So my job is basically just as, you know what they call it, one thing, just stop the puck. That's all. Andre Murray! Thursday, February 16th, Principal Carter hosted Cupcakes with Carter, an event to gather candid student feedback on what administration is doing well and what can be improved. Students could stop in during their lunch hour and grab a sweet treat as long as they participated in an informal discussion. We checked in with Principal Carter after a lunch to see how she felt the first section of the event went. I believe the first Cupcakes with Carter was successful um, for a lunch. I had 20 students in attendance, and I was able to ask them questions, what are their likes about our school, what are some areas of improvement, and also get some insights about ideas on what they have um, to benefit our school community. Uh, so I'm super excited and looking forward to the next two lunches to get feedback from our student body, because student voice is critically important to ensure we have an awesome high school. Students expressed an appreciation for our staff, the diversity of courses and extracurricular activities and the new secure entrances. Some discussion points about possible improvements among the group included academic advisory, restroom, and attendance policies. This meeting reflects an increasing trend by leaders in the district to receive student feedback. How this increase in feedback will actually affect the policies and procedures within the district is yet to be determined. However, an increase in student voices allows for a wider variety of perspectives to be considered and more improvements to be made. Keep speaking up, Novi. Hey Novi, uh, today I will be doing something a little different. I'm going to be talking about a TV show instead of a movie. Uh, this TV show is getting a lot of hype, a lot of notice. I can't wait to talk about it for one. Uh, the show is called The Last of Us. Warning, the TV show Mati is about to review is rated TVMA. It is for mature audiences. A little bit of background knowledge. It was first a video game made in 2012. I played it for my first time in eighth grade. It's one of the best video games I've ever played. It's, it, it's really, it's a beautiful story. Uh, so I was happy when I found out they were making it into a show. But the premise of the story takes place in a post-apocalyptic world 20 years after the zombie outbreak. We follow a man named Joel who smuggles goods in and out of one of the last cities still standing. He gets a job against his will to smuggle a little girl who is immune out of the city and deliver her to a group of people so they can make a cure. But it's much more than kind of like a zombie action show. You know, uh, this, like the underlying story is love. In my opinion, that's the way I see it. Throughout the show, we see Joel and Ellie's relationship you know, develop into like a father-daughter bond as Joel gets a second chance of being a dad after his daughter died during the outbreak. And Ellie gets attached to Joel because she never had a parent figure in her life because she was born like 10 years after the zombie outbreak, so the world was already gone, basically. Um, 
we see, you know, Joel go to the extreme right measures to protect Ellie from the harshness of the new world as they travel across the U.S. to find this group of people who can potentially make a cure out of her blood because she is immune. But uh, I don't want to say too much without giving it away. There, there are a lot of like different arcs and stories in the show, which made the game so great in my opinion. And uh, like I said, I don't want to say too much. It's great. I highly recommend it. If you haven't started watching it, you should catch up. There's a new episode every Sunday. But uh, so far, I, I gotta give it a nice like, like little nine out of 10. It's, it's been meeting my expectations because they've been they've just been doing everything great. But yeah, any more reviews, let me know. Peace out. So you guys probably remember that two weeks ago was solo on Ensemble and I got curious and wanted to figure out how people did. So with the help of cameraman, your boy John Barron, we went around during Academic Advisory and got some wild interviews. So let's see how people did. Hey Dorothy, you're in orchestra, right? Yeah. What did you get in solo and ensemble? A one. Got a one. Did you play in a group of people or was it a solo? A trio. You did a trio. All right. And what songs did you play? <laughs> what songs did you play? Menuetto. Nice. So right now I'm with the famous Arnav Patry, and he has a very interesting story on what happened in solo and ensemble. So Arnav. How many solo and ensembles did you do this year? Uh, I did one solo and three ensembles. So you did four in total? Th that is correct. Who did you do your ensembles with? Uh, a lot of people. Many people. Okay. And what about your solo? How did that one go? It went. It indeed went. And what song did you play? Um, for, for my solo? Indeed. I did the third movement of the Neruda Concerto in E-flat major. Very nice. Thanks. Hey, Alex, what'd you, what'd you get on solo and ensemble? Oh, we got two ones. Got two ones, so you, you played twice? Yes. Nice. Did you do any solos or were they both ensembles? Uh, one duet and one quartet. Nice. And who were those with? Uh, duet was with Brian and the quartet was with uh, Sonny, Mandira, and Tyler. Brian, is that THE Brian Jang? That is THE Brian Jang. Alright, thanks. Hey, yo, I know you. I know you. What did you get in solo and ensemble? I didn't do it. Hi guys, what's your names? I'm Prashu. I'm Radita. Are you sure about that? You kind of look like twins. What's your last names? Nanda Kumar. Hassan. I disagree. What? So, what'd you get on Solo and Ensemble? Two. <laughs> you got a two. Okay. Do you guys think you deserve that two? We didn't get a two. <laughs> we got a three. I think orchestra is way better. Okay. Excuse me. Only right answer, orchestra. Okay. No, it's it's band always. Disagree. It's orchestra. <laughs> this is four against one. You got outnumbered. <laughs> Just another day in the life of a Cat's Eye News journalist. Hey, Wildcats! Some very sad news. We won't be seeing you next Monday or Tuesday, but we will see you next Wednesday. As always, thanks for watching Novi, and we'll see you next week.